In this demo, I'm going to show you how to use the fantastic new magnetic stencil colour set from Nelly Snellen, along with the matching stencils to create an absolutely beautiful multi-layered stenciled background. Now, in the box, you'll receive the base, which has got all the sizes and everything that you want need on there. It's also got all the measurements down the side running from 1 to 17 centimetres. This is all done in metric. You'll receive two magnets which will stick to the base. And if you have any other magnets at home, these will work as well. So they work exactly the same on there, should you want to hold your stencil in place a little bit firmer. And you'll also receive five of these little sort of rubber pips, which hold your stencil in place. So what we need to do first of all is pop some card in. So I'm going to move my pips and my packaging to one side, my magnets, and I've cut a piece of card here to the size noted, which is 13 and a half by 13 and a half. Now you can use other sizes of card, but to get started and to learn how to use it best, it's best to cut the card to the size that you need. So I'm going to place that within this brown border that runs all the way around. And I'm simply going to tape my card down to the base. This just helps keeps it in place. Next, I want to take one of the stencils and I've chosen the honeycomb stencil, which comes with three patterns. And you want to start with the largest aperture, with the largest space. So you place that down, you take your little pips and hopefully you can see this, and you want to just gently ease those into place. So go through each one and ease them into place, sort of turning each one to put it in. I'm not going to put all of them in for speed, but I would suggest at first you do this to get used to it. You say it's a little bit difficult at first. Once you actually get the manoeuvre and you understand how it works, it works perfectly. So we'll just squeeze this one in. There we go. Squeeze it in. There we go. And you can see there, I've got my stencil set in place. It will stay in the same place and I've got my card there. So then I want to take my magnets and just pop them. I use the two corners just to give that a nice slip and keep that sort of stencil down. And again, if you want to or you're concerned, you can use any other magnets that you want to just hold it into place. So I'm going to start colouring and I'm going to work from the lightest colour to the darkest colour. You can try lots of different techniques with this, lots of different products to use through the stencil. I'm going to start with pigment ink as it gives a beautiful blend and I find it the easiest. And I'm starting with the largest stencil with the lightest colour, which is this, the yellow. And I'm using the blending petal foam, which is a flower that splits into eight separate parts from Crafts 2. Because I find this is lovely and smooth, so make sure I've got lots of colour. And I'm just going to rub the colour over the stencil, as you would do if you were stenciling. And you can use stencil brushes or finger daubers or anything that you would normally use. So we'll just fill that. So I'll fill all of that and then I'll show you the next stage. So as you can see here, I've got the first colour down, all the yellow, and I've simply added the next cut, next stencil on in the set, which is the smaller stencil, and it fits in exactly the right place again. Make sure you use your pips, get those popped in tightly. So it only allows you to get the stencil and the pip in when it's correct. And then we pop our magnets down and I'm going to move to the next colour in the set. And I'm using the orange again from the Mini Pigment Inks by Eyes Ink. I'm going to take some of the colour on my blending petal. This time I've chosen an orange and I'm just going to go over and put the orange on. So I will continue and do this and then I'll swap it in for the final layer. As you can see here, I've already put the orange in, so I've got the yellow going to the orange in the center, and I'm going to put the final stencil into place. So again, I just pop that on, and this is the smallest stencil in the set. And again, pop your little pips in, which helps to make sure that the stencil is in exactly the right place. And there will be more designs coming in this, apart from the four that we've got at the moment. So we'll be designing our own, as well as some new ones from Nelly to go with this. So this time I'm going to switch into the darkest shade, which is the red. And again, another piece of the foam. Pop 
my magnets on, take some of the red pigment ink, and again, I'm just going to rub this over. Now, what you need to remember is, when you're doing this final stage, you are building your colour on top of three other colours. You've got yellow there, and you've already got the orange. So you do sometimes feel as if you don't get the intensity of colour, or that you're not getting it working at all. It doesn't seem to be changing it a lot. However, when you remove the stencil, you will see that that colour has come through beautifully. So I'm just going to get that through. Just give it a wipe down. Just to make sure I've got all that. Take my magnets off. Take my pips out, my stencil off. And you can see there when I remove that from there, I've got that beautiful honeycomb triple layer look on there and again you can use this in any combination you want to and it makes most beautiful background for your cards.